everybody and welcome to Against the Fence. Welcome back. We've got another video for you guys. And in this one, we're going to be talking about that one fight we want to see in 2022. Could be anything. Just one. Just the one. All right. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. Peace. All right, so one fight you want to see next year. Now, don't be shy. You can play along. Get in that Whoa. comment section of the one fight you want to see. But guys, so what one? What's the one fight you, you want to see? You're gonna come at me first. You're gonna come at me first. You're gonna come at me first. Yeah, okay. You should go same order. All right, all right. The one fight I want to see next year, I, I think, would be an absolute fire of a fight. Would be Conor McGregor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I said his name. Ooh, all right. Okay, okay. 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 We'll start there. Come back. He's coming back. Versus. <laughs> Oh, it's a few people I like to see, but this one would be really good. Chandler. Yeah, Michael, Michael Chandler. Chandler. Conor McGregor versus them, Michael Chandler. I think them be two have been back and forth on social media. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Stylistically, oh. and I, I mean, I, I just I think it's gonna be yeah. absolutely. That's that one insane. name because obviously, if Conor gets that win over Chandler, that's that's him there for the title. Yeah, he do so true. much for the guy. Yeah. He does win that fight. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, that's he's done. But yeah, that's he's, a great he's fight. Doing really well. He's back, he's back in the in the picture. Yeah, stylistically, it's really good. You've got um, on one hand, Chandler's great. That's if Chandler that uses in, wrestling. Yeah, that's the thing. Will but he use the wrestling? He loves the barn burner fights though. He does. We've yeah. seen him use. We've seen Connor fight wrestlers. Sorry, like Chad Mendes before yeah. back in the day. We've seen Chandler get knocked out. We do sometimes a few of us throw around the fact that Michael Chandler is potentially chilly. Yes. So can Connor knock out Chandler? Look, here's the, the thing. Question. Have we seen Connor really display his power in this division? North, that's that's really actually, that's actually that. a hundred percent a really good point. Yeah. We've not seen him actually not be able really. to put his power on display in this he's, division. He's he, timing, yeah. really. he, he did. He did his he's, debut UFC he's, debut. Yeah. No, UFC lightweight debut yes, yeah. against, against that, that, was, Yeah, that he was, was he was on fire that night. I mean, yeah. historically, I that he's been back. a bit of a knockout artist. Um, no, before he stepped into lightweight division, but. Mm. Yeah, do we get to see that again? It leads on to so many things. It has an opportunity to give birth to far more yeah. as well. And it says, it, it sparks the conversation mm -hmm. and it does so many exciting things for the sport. Should that be booked? Yes. No, that's a good one. I yeah, like that. That's a great one. Um, yes. Ash, Ooh, here we go. with you there. Right, so what's what, the one fight you want to see? The one fight I want to see, I know that, um, it's going to be in a bantamweight division. Ooh. Okay. It's right. going to be... Peter Yarn versus TJ Dillashaw. Mm -hmm. And the reason I've gone for that one, I know obviously um, at this moment in time that um, uh, Yarn has to fight AJ Sterling. I just don't see anyone beating Yarn apart from TJ. I, 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 I think TJ is the only one that can sort of outwork and outgraft mm -hmm. someone like Peter Yarn. Really good points. Really that good points. It gives me goosebumps. But right. obviously, uh, I'm saying this. It's got to happen first, and obviously, yeah. Peter Yarn's got to get past Edgeman Sterling. Yeah. I know, obviously, he looked great in their first fight. You never know. Uh, Edgeman Sterling might have the adjustments and come back differently. Yeah, true, true. And he could fuck up my pick. But I would, lo <laughs> I would love to see Peter Yarn versus TJ Dillashaw because yeah. TJ never lost the belt officially. Yeah. So but, I'd love to see it. You know, Al Jermaine did have a massive success over Peter Yarn in the first round when they first met. Yeah, he did, up. yeah. He everyone, all so out. everyone against Peter Yarn. I was going to yeah. say the same thing. He, okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. If he, he stays he, champion, he that's why it's so hard. Spend that first round, not so much Calcate. at the um, uh, at the no behest of like his opponent being so good, he loses that first round, but more so for his decision he to digests sort of, information. Right? Yeah, He's so good at it. So, yeah. okay. so good. I guess you're right. Yeah, certainly. And then yeah, I'd love to see how that sort of pans out against TJ Dillashaw. You know, is he going to sort of you get lured into yeah. is he going to fight P, um, Peter Yarn's game or is Peter Yarn going to fight his game yeah exactly it's almost too tough to call that fight yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a great fight man yeah no, I'm I like it JK who you what one you fight say? I want to see next year is goosebumps it? okay this will get you going as well is Surreal Gun Ooh. at heavyweight of course no. mm -hmm. fighting <laughs> John Jones mate Ooh. I just want to see that fight I mean I love Surreal Gun yes. I think you know Stylistically, he's amazing yes, across 100%. the board. But for me, he's got to get past him, uh, Francis Ngannou first, just like does, my, just I like my pick. My, my pick's yeah. got, yeah. Wanna, my pick's got also, to get past someone as well. A double whammy on your side, though. Not only does he have to get past Francis Ngannou, John Jones actually has to come back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's actually not. Too. He's not got to fuck up his outside <laughs> life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell you what, because obviously John Jones is so quick and so dynamic at mm. like heavyweight. 
Is it going to be the same uh, heavyweight? It's That's the true. question. And obviously, Jordan mentioned a second ago, Gaines so quick on his feet. He's literally like a light heavyweight. A heavyweight. <laughs> yeah. And, it's and crazy. effectively, John Jones is, you know, the, yeah, the yeah. goat at the moment. If most most people's around. goats, MMA-wise. But here's the thing I want to throw in there, is someone who's probably similar style-wise that he's beaten before John Jones, Leo Machida. Oh, yes, when, he was style, yeah. When he first won the light heavyweight belt at whatever year it was, when he was 22 years old, mm. you know, he's got that sideways stance, very sort of point orientated. Yes. And look, he he put him in a guillotine and tapped yeah, him out. Yeah. However, not Cyril a heavyweight, Gann, though. Not yeah. heavyweight, and Cyril Gann is a lot bigger. He's built different. Than, to do yeah, what he can Machida. do in his division is yeah. supreme. I think exactly, it's, it's, yeah. You know, for Leo Machida to be able to do it, you know, um, Fair enough, but for Cyril Gann to be able to adapt that style in a heavyweight division, yeah. that's something you don't yeah. see. No. That's something unique in itself. Yeah, and he's mm. a puzzle that no one's been able to solve at the moment yeah. thus far that's in far. the heavyweight division. So, you know, I'd imagine that John Joes would open up as favourite for that fight. Mm. And, you know, yeah, I his he would credentials as well, yeah. speak yeah. volumes. Oh, man. I man. It's a great fight. Uh, again, it. there's so many we, we spoke about. There's so many potential matchups. Again, you're probably thinking of some of these. Again, let, let us know yours. Yeah. Man, I'm going to throw another I'm one that we were, uh, well, I was torn by when the, these guys told me. It is Volkanovski versus Henry Cejudo. Oh, oh yeah. Because obviously Henry Cejudo has been talking for, all this bollocks about coming back. For being that but C. it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Oh, I, mean, I, I mean, I feel that does quite a few things for the division itself. I mean, I'd love to see Holloway get another crack at gold. I mean, I love mm. that guy. And that opens the door for possibilities like that to happen. Again. If Cejudo wins. But yeah. And if Cejudo wins, does he... Did he stay yeah, he there? Do. No, that's what I mean. I think it's like a... Quick win. No, no, no disrespect. I think it's a GSP type thing where to come back... And, and he'd be the first fighter to win three belts in three different weight classes as well. And obviously he keeps yeah. going on about his Olympic gold medalist and things like that, which is fair play to him. He's, he's got them credentials. But to imagine if a fighter has won three belts in three different weight classes. That's, that's what I mean. Why that fight is so massive that would be uh, against Volkanovski. Yeah. That's, good that's crazy. Well. That's good yeah. yeah. But it's obviously Volkanovski is an animal, man. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Obviously, but, I had to chuck that one in now. I do apologise. No, no, that's fine. There's, there's there. so it's many picks you, you could have had. Just chuck them in the comments below. I mean, you yeah, could have... chuck them all in. We, uh, we've we been tossing back and forth yeah, about a couple yeah. of them, of course. I mean, there was the likes of you know, Yuri Pushak had said back in the octagon against Glover Teixeira. Mm -hmm. You know, and you got, of course, um, do you have a matchup between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson or is uh, Makachev against uh, Oliver? Yeah, there's you know? so many. There's, there's so many. There's lots out there that you guys could pick. What fight do you really want to be seeing in 2022? Let us know in the comments below <laughs> that's all and if you haven't liked if you have liked the video hit the like button and if you've joined us for the very first time also hit the subscribe button as well this is against the fence that was your top fight so we want to see next year see you soon stay safe